A University of Portland employee has been arrested and accused of assaulting a current staff member over the weekend. The school says it happened Friday night off campus. Coin Six's Jennifer Dowling is live at the University of Portland tonight with more on what happened. Jen? Good evening, Emily. We don't know exactly what led up to this alleged assault, but the university did send out an email to both students and staff explaining that this former employee is barred from campus. I just received it yesterday. Seema Pankin was one of the students that got the email alert telling students and staff that Patrick R.L., a former University of Portland employee, was arrested. And I was a bit like upset and frustrated like that this thing happened because, you know, it's not a it's not a good thing, so it wasn't nice to see that. L is accused of physically assaulting Dr. Matthew Rigg, Associate Vice President for Student Development. Police say the altercation happened off campus at around 9.30 Friday near the intersection of Northeast Cleveland Avenue and Northeast Deacom Street. According to the email sent to students and staff, the university also issued a no trespassing order to L, barring him from university property and events. I went to Matthew Rigg's listed address, which sits near the intersection where police say the assault occurred. A woman there declined comment and referred us to the university spokesperson. I also went to Patrick L's listed address. A man talked to me through the door. I'm Jen from Coin6. We wanted to know if you had any comment on the um, assault. He said he wasn't Patrick and they had no comment at this time. We contacted university spokesperson Michael Llewellyn, who called the situation deeply upsetting. He said L had resigned from the university in 2017, but declined further comment. Seema says the situation is surprising. So we have a really nice school where, you know, like all people like very kind and, you know, I was like, how is it possible? The university's email went on to list counseling resources for students or staff upset or impacted by the incident. Sometimes bad things happening, so you can't do anything about it. And L was already booked in the Multnomah County Jail. He was released the following day after making bail. Back to you. All right, Jennifer, thanks. We know he's expected in court this week, something we will certainly be following up on.